Welcome Wastelanders, back to Alan Wake Remastered. Last time we left off, we had passed on future time, it got all a little bit confusing, but it doesn't matter, we still, we still did it. We went through the mines, which was arguably the scariest experience in this game. I don't, I, I don't think you realise, if you play this game, and you have, like me, like I have synthetic headphones, well, I have headphones, but they're synthetic if I bought ones around sound. All I hear is someone going, I had shivers down the back of my neck the whole time and I had at my feet uh, arguably a five to six stone rotty warming me up keeping me warm but I still had shivers down my spine it was probably the scariest moment for me personally in this whole game so far like the jump scare didn't get me but the the whispering did ooh, ooh, even think about it now I'm getting a bit of shivers anyway so we ended up also being drugged and landing in the old wellness center with dr hartman so let's see where this goes hey this is gonna be fun i suppose we better turn the page open the binder turn the page to continue for alan wick remastered let me out the door was let me out i was me a prisoner out. here let me out take care bruv good evening alan are we feeling better now Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. <laughs> so sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Why, right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Yes, I do you good. I do not believe this man. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. Huh. Night Springs. Emerson. What are they? Pickets Crisps. Okay. What? What the? Is that Jumanji? Oh, huh. it's quite nice. Night Springs. Death Rally. Cool. Assistant Lane creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I can't see the art though. I bet you do. Splendid. Dosal. Dosal. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control. Why can't I go in this one? Together. Why? This way, Alan. This way, Alan. No, fuck you. See you later. <laughs> Ooh, a bear. Anderson. Oh, it's two bits in that one. Look. Cool. Now, Alan, from past experience we'll go with you, I know I need to get right into. Open the doors, close doors, alarm stop. I can after an episode, so I'm just going to say this: Alice is dead. Nope. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned, and you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. Okay. You've been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go this way, Alan. We go this way. For another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. Hmm. So they've drugged him up. Head. Proper drugged You've him up. You've been making it up. 
Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural? Yeah, but it makes too much sense. In your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything Who's that? Can be explained logically. Can I run? No. What's in it? Oh, a massive sun, though. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. TZ. Thomas Zane! Thomas Zane! In the memory of a dear friend and poet. Ooh. The plot thickens. 1912. What was I say? Cauldron Lake Lodge in Tenebras. I don't know. I don't speak Latin. So it's prof. No manuscript pages, no coffee ah, mugs. Never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Is that the lodge Golden down there? Spread Golden below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. Oh, okay. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. Waves. Oh. Storms are coming, Mary. There's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that. Storms coming, Mary. Harry. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Yeah, ma'am. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now, we're in control. Every time you Mate, look, relapse, look, look, look. His eyes are like so, like ooh. Nay, look. Sorry. Not surprising, considering your uh, profession. Made me laugh. Imagination is what you work with. Yep. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the I let him talk. Hartman obviously loved his own voice. Yeah, voice this man loves his voice. My head. But I, I dug my nails into myself. the palms of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, yeah, this dude is just like, he's one of them people that would like, tape himself, and they'd be like, oh mate, I sound fucking amazing. Come along, let's go I should inside. sell this. You what, mate? Well, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. Scary, you were impressed scary, by my trophies scary. when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn oh. wonderful, yeah. I see you. Yeah, that's right. I got you. Got you good. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Hello. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared, but you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. Let me in. Airboat strike. Get him. Get your head. Say that. I'm out of it. Alan, please. Oh look, girl, QR code again. And they're littered throughout the whole game, and they do add some videos and stuff if you want to look at them. I mentioned them before. Another one, two for two. Still can't run. It's very frustrating. Oh, a TV. Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Ooh. I've probably seen that a bit too early, then, uh. 
Should have done. Anyway, let's follow the mist, Mr. Doc Man. Yep. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. Have I now? As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. That's like the third post I've seen of this fucker's book. Oh, read. Welcome to Cauldron Large Lake. We're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule reds beforehand so that they don't interfere with your therapy and all your periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow majors and need them for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged in their creative process. Be patient. Typically, our patients have a long term creative play with problems and they can't not be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take what you need. Bear in mind you're a voluntary assignment. Cool. Garbage. There's another TV there. What are you playing at, mate? You wanna go? You wanna go, son? You wanna go? That's right. Hey, look, it's the oh, brothers. Jesus, it's killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. Hell yeah. And these two are the Anderson brothers. Odin and Tor. They had a... How should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. <laughs> They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. No, that guy's got eye patch from Odin. They lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Let me go. I'm so sorry to cut this short for now, Alan. Oh. The power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? Hmm. I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah. Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. Say, <laughs> <laughs> you're all right, Tom. <gasps> I get it. Like Tom Zane. He's Crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe for me. Ah, manuscript. Yeah. Oh, wow. Thomas Zane's writing and assistant. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, had a way with words. Emil. My head was clearing up. Or, according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not. The Andersons made more sense. Tom, you got any booze on you? Nah, bro. Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, we have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula. <laughs> Local ingredients. Medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember like moonbeams on the brain. Uh -huh. oh, I just noticed leather patches on the elbows. <laughs> That's not very rock yeah. and roll. The fucking leather Bobby patches. Lost is all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. Baba she Yaga. Taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. 
and my ravens. What was... What were they? Memory and thought, the hag. She took something from you too, didn't she? That's what she does. Okay. Um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, a god. Nightmare shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. She makes sure it comes out twisted and wrong. I love this too. Ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other rider. <laughs> She's ah. been using you, boy, and you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? That's what you said in the uh, manuscript. Already open a crack. And whose fault is that? We're morally corrupt, disease-ridden, old and stupid. Doesn't mean he had to open it all the way, goddammit. Ah, uh, pfft. So tired. Built the farm close to the lake. A place of power. Okay. We had parties there, man. You... You should go there and have a party. That Bob Balder threw the app through the window, hit that a hippie chick in the back of the head, 15 stitches of a concussion. Bob's dead now. Leukemia. That oh, shit, man. Stitches, snitches, and narcs, man. <laughs> Bad scene. Is that it? I am tired. <laughs> I do love them too. They are like my favourite characters in it so far. Just because they're just not your typical, you know. Why is everything locked again? Well, that's weird. It's all like audio cut. They're only in your head, and they're not there when you wake up. Mm. So you can't wake Who's this then? <gasps> oh, oh my oh, god. I've painted you. Okay. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these. That looks like me in the water, doesn't it? When I got the images just keep coming. Before I woke up. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah. He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. Do you know? So wants us to return to our room. I'd say nay. We are Alan Wake. Well, the hunters won't shut up either because they have feelings too. <laughs> yeah. Good thing he's not over. The doors were locked. Hartman and the nurses well, would have keys, the but there was no way to get my hands on them. I'll do that, Birch. Hey, Wake, why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. Thanks. Let's run away. Fuck him. To get brave. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. I'm not myself. It's hard to think. Quick, quick, There's a quick. shadow inside my head. I can only quick. focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. Oh. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants. And the story will come true. Oh. The plot thickens. Can I now do the generator? No.
Was that out always there? I don't remember an owl being there. Cool. I'll have to look at that before I started in. Hartman yeah, wanted me to write. I knew I couldn't, but I figured I should just play along for now. Lane, that it guy was the there? only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. Okay. White glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. Oh. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. <laughs> hey, wake. You stay here. I'm going to go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Uh huh. I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Where did he get a damn hammer? Oh, look, manuscript page. Barry in the lodge. Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practiced hand on Barry's shoulder. Uh. Store, I'm taking it. We're on a comeback tour, baby. What are they doing? Oh my god, they knocked that nurse out. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key to the office room from somewhere. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. Hmm. Can I now go places? Okay, I can't go out here. I've got all the stuff from upstairs. That guy's gone now. That's locked still. We were on the road, man. You think we haven't seen punks like you before? Yeah. Hartman's office. Oh God. Markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Thank you. That one. What fails Hartman? Hartman wasn't happy. Maud could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time, and he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. Oh shit! So he, Hartman hired that guy to pretend. Wow. Can I go back out? Yeah. Yeah, look. The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next yeah. to Hartman. He was the kid. Fucking member. yeah. Hartman had been playing me all along. Oh, mate, is Hartman like the big bad? Hartman, do you hear me? I'm gonna sue your crazy quack ass to split. I'm gonna listen to his tape before I say it, Barry. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? <laughs> he's more and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. Do you mean with you? No, not with me. No, never. I... Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me. Because at least that'd lead to a conversation he couldn't just march out of. But no. He just... Alan doesn't really sleep. And the work? Well, he's not writing. At all. He sits there for hours and just gets more and more frustrated. 
Yes. Tell me, Mrs. Wake. What would you say to him if he'd listen? <sighs> say this. No. No. I try, but he's not listening. He's too deep in his own problems, always going on about something else. I'm so afraid I'm gonna lose him, and we're not even talking anymore. He doesn't let me in anymore. He just keeps me in the dark. I'm so alone here, even when he's home. Please help me, doctor, because I'm at my wit's end. Well, if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut-up of this. Just a recording. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one I said earlier, wasn't it? When we was in the thing, it sounded stitched together. And like saying, it is stitched together from that recording. All right, come on in, Barry. Barry? Ow, about time. Barry, man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Oh, hello. Yeah. I mean, no. The cops found me a Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such, <laughs> or else I'd sue their asses. I love you, Barry. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time, but I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up, but when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... What's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. <laughs> yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal. We uh, uh, that's funny shit. The pages and a gun. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Fucking hell yeah. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea... Parker, shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutwonderful with your ability and mine. It's the darkness. Yeah, that evil smirk. Oh shit. Okay, Hartman watches Wake fall. Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. Wow. So he watched him fall. The dark presence would be on me in a moment. I had to find a way out. Oh shit. Ow. That looks like it's gonna hurt. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here. God. Um, can I go upstairs? There's a generator upstairs. So I'll go this way. Ah! I needed light. 
need to get the possessed bookshelves out of my way. Oh my god, no, no, not the bear. Genoa, Genoa, Genoa. I got you, boy. I got you, boy. You kinda get me. Not a log. Give me the flares. So I fought. No, the bears though. I like the bears. Another manuscript page? We're getting light. Bloody light of him. Hartman's mission. Hartman knew he was no creator. He had no ambitions on that front. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here. Damaged in ways that were hard to describe. Or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction. To be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. Yeah, she's trying to make fucking money off him, wasn't he? Run! Oh, Jesus, where am I gonna go? Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let go. Whoa. Ah. Whoa. Come on. Ah, I was trying to get to the front door. Stupid bastards. Where's it going to save me? Okay. That's fine. Come on. It's two hits, isn't it? Or well, it might be one. No, two. Come on. I'm here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Jesus Christ, come on. There we go. Ow. Still, you've done it. Cheese it! Ow, ow. I'm, here. I'm coming! Not really. Running. Mr. Wake, please. Hey, come on. We gotta get going. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm busy. See? Thermos. Thank you. I know. I know. Oh. Read this. Suspended. Laura Miller, 1989. Oh, Lauren. Found the car, but the gate's locked. You're going to have to go through the hedge maze over there. It's Barry, fucking hedge maze. Life. Take this, Al. There's a fucking hedge maze. Oh, God. Look at the house, Al. Look out. 
Jesus. Oh! Ah! You bastard! I'm coming, I'm coming. There's not much man can do right now. Hang about. Should have given me that industrial torch I had earlier. Okay. I'm not very good at mazes. As you can probably imagine. I get lost very easily. Hello? Oh, there's another one! Can't get me, boy! Do not trust Emil. Oh, yeah, I mentioned it. The assistant. That's the assistant, isn't it? Hello. I need to do some keeping of houses or well, manuscripts. We got loads of these. Wake sees the old god stage. I stared at the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full side stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. That just screams DMCA to me. I want the batteries. They're coming. Minister of Magic is dead. They are coming. Big man. God, I couldn't really reload my weapon fast enough there. Is that the way out? Or... Hey! Nearly. Hartman and the power failure. Hartman hurried down the corridor. He had disliked leaving Wake when he was surely at his most susceptible to therapy. But this was not an ordinary storm. Wake had been riding, and he had woken something up in the depths of the lake. Now, it was coming for him. Hartman had naturally prepared for a situation like this. The idiot brothers would keep Wake distracted while Hartman double-checked everything, just to be sure. Oh, what are you playing at, Hartman? We'll see playing now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Lovely. I would like more than a pistol, I think. I want a rifle. Or maybe some flesh bags. But I will take all of the pistols I can get. That was a that was just a chair anyway. I thought it stairs was not a chair. Nice grub. There is. Oh, 
I got you, boy. Ah! Bloody birds. Fuck this. Jesus, Alan. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus, Alan. I need more flares. Oh my god. Fat boy Alan can't run properly. Love how his mouth is not moving. Come on. Energized. There we go. Don't reload, reload, reload. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, it's loads of birds. Well, I just like. Okay. Are we done? Lovely. Dickhead birds. Oh, no. Yep. What I'm talking about. I thought we were just going to go this way. Maybe not then. Oh Jesus, fat wake. So I had to go this way because the door was locked. Yeah. Proceed through the garden. Oh yeah. Oh shotgun. It's fine. I'll take shotgun now. And a manuscript page. Modern charge. Knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything, and Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin. If only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. Yeah. Dick above. Anyway. So we're going to be fighting Mott. It's Mott the boss in this area then. There's a, is a lot of crows. One on one. Yeah. Uh, uh. I do find this game sometimes a bit. Like the dodging, you can't always dodge all the time. You can do like one dodge and it takes a little bit. It's like, oh no, 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 calm down for a bit. Calm down, mate. Hang about, hang about. Ah, I'm up to know that's a thing. Maybe get a lot of pages in this episode, and I mean a lot of pages. Right. Barry attacks by a taken. Oh For no, not Barry. Moment, Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay, okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Barry turned when he heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes, an axe held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. The world exploded. Oh, mate, not Barry. I like Barry. I'm like one of the only good fucking characters in this game. Ooh. 
You want to hear? Batteries and pistol. Yeah, I've got I'm really low on batteries. So. We are in the garden alone. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, mate. No, no, no. Ah! Get away! Alan! Alan! Shoot! Oh, my days, Alan. Oh, what are you doing to me, mate? Where is it? I saw it there. Hello? That's this way. Hello? I'd like flare gun. Thank you. Man, I got no shotgun. What is this? Hey, what is it? I'm worried about them crows. Or ravens. I think they are crows. Oh, checkers. Oh, it must be Barry. Might be Barry. What's your gun? Oh, mate, am I going to fight a boss? I might be fighting a boss. Might be boss boy time, lads. Oh, I managed to get page. Lovely. We got it. Let's have a look. Hartman sedates the wake. Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Well, since Tom, really. Sleep well, Alan, Hartman whispered with a smile. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. Barely tasted it. So he said Tom, didn't it? Mentioned Tom, so. Methinks Thomas Zane. It is Barry. I'm here, Barry. Ow! You're alive! Not for long, open the door. Get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... Barry! I'll find it! Don't Come on, Barry! Oh, mate. Oh, mate. Barry! Ah! How can I hang on? Barry! My mate, my man, Butters. Open the door, Barry. Ah, no. Here it is. Al, I found the key. Come on, Nimbasa. Let's go. Yeah, run them fox over. Ha! 
tell me we're headed for the nearest. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were going to say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through... Why is he sitting like, like so slightly back in his chair? I'm done with darkness. You're going to buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm going to live in it. So that's gone then, isn't it? Consumed by the darkness. It was a bit chop. I'm crazy, but that's fine, Mary. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest. But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Ow. How can you know that? I know, Barry. I can... Al, I... No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a... Mate, pick a lane, Barry. Presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell oh. me with all the drugs they oh. were But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! Barry, no! What is shit is just killing me. I had lost my gun in the crash. Oh really? It was nowhere to be seen. Oh god. Where my torch? Put Barry. that crap in your pocket, Barry. Barry. Oh man, you're okay. Jeez, it's good to hear your voice. I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way. Man, what a drop. Don't worry, your cutout is fine. Forget that. Huh. Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch. There's no way you can climb down though. It's like a sheer wall. Uh, Al, there's something moving down here. Oh, Barry, no. It's a take it. Shoot the flare, Barry. Woo! Yeah. Barry, are you all right? I'm coming, Barry. <laughs> I'm good, Al. I'm great. Guess he never messed with Shit, anyone from New York City before, huh? Mate, that does look like a like a Barry, Viking. Just wait for me, okay? Like Ow, I'm not here. food house, so food hall, they call the it. I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area. You can catch up. Don't worry about it. Hey, I'm Barry. Now he's a Rambo. This would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. I love how he still has the cardboard cow. Out of everything, he's still got that cobble cow. It's like the handcuffs in Evil Within. Yep. Hello. I have nothing. Oh. Oh. I see some flashy lights. Oh, back, mate. Alan, in your crappiness. Oh. There's a thermos over there. No. Yeah, see you later. Ow. Run. Alan and your crappiness. Run like a 50 year old man. 
Seriously, what is wrong with you, Alex? That's what I thought. No. Is this in it? Manuscript page. Yeah. No. Walter Anna Anderson. When he stopped farm. the car at the Anderson farm, Walter felt relieved. Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. But then he saw the man on the porch, and he knew who it was. Driving for his life and knowing it was useless, he didn't realize he was crying until he couldn't see the road for the tears. Hmm. I don't know whose Walter is. I can't remember. Yep. Uh up. No. Ooh. It'll be all right if. Alan didn't like run like a 50 year old man. Ah! Mate. Now I don't even know what I am. Oh, okay. Just dodging. Just trying to dodge everything. Just continuously dodging. Shadows crawled over the gate. I needed a light to destroy them to get through. It's off, though. What's here? Cool. I hope there'd still be a working generator somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the gate. Thank you. All right, Nightingale rests. Wake. Agent Nightingale stared at the passed out rider. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion, but he had a job to do. He put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. His hand shook and his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. Two out of Nope. Okay, this is not going to end well. Nope. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous. Hey. I had no choice. Give it a flashlight. Trust no one in the dark. Obviously. Just... Hello. I've got no batteries either. I can't see anyone. Oh fuck. Just run. I'm gonna basically keep running, running, base, running, running. Come on. Come on. Ra. Da. No! Oh my god, Mr. Wake. Oh my god. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't care. Man, don't care. Man, be running. Oh my god, fat wake.
Run! Oh, look at him. Fucking fat boy. Why can't you run, man? Seriously! Jesus, Alan. Ugh. A car was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. Hmm. A little campy. Yeah, I'll take that heavy-duty one. Hey, you. Take them batteries. What else is here? Pistol? 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 was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. Okay. But remember, the next page after Wake is sedated is Nightingale. So me thinks it's Nightingale. I don't think it's Bahazri. trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. I had seen ah. glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. Okay. Adult presence at large. I'm missing the page. The dark presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was still bound to follow the story and chain to the dark place it came from. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. Mm -hmm. It's all coming now, isn't it? Fruition. It's all coming through for us. I... that a bear trap? Was it a pudge? That'd be bear traps. There'll be bears in this world. There's loads of them. Why there? Oh. No. Get away with you. Oh, there's so many. Fat boy, wait, come on. No. Here we go. Come after me. Pick up this page though. And his shoulder. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. What's the need then? Oh my god. Take the taken are filled with darkness. Okay. Strange. Oh, mate, there's a thing up there. What are you doing? Hey, 
it. Oh. Okay, let's go. Watch out for bear traps. What is that? There be a common. Stop frying shit at me! <laughs> Try to kill me? You don't know who I am. I'm Alan motherfucking Wake, bitch. So many, so many. Cool, no ammo. Let's just fucking run. I could see the car, but there was no sight of the driver. That's not good. I've got no ammo. Hello? Anybody here? Ah! Barry? Ah! Ah! No! Danny, you're not! Ah! Oh! Please. What are you, please? Ah, no, no, I'm sorry. Ah, 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 ah. What, mate? Like, investigate cabin. Go upstairs. Hello. Push. Hello? I know you. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again for the moonshine, you know? It makes you see. They're, they're not going to miss it. They're in the loony bin. <laughs> My buddy, Danny, I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. Like a real bad follow up to a real good movie. The best friend's suddenly bad guy who, who wrote this crap anyway. Me. He did. Huh? Oh. I've run through every possible course in my head. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. It is going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's yeah. the only way to save Alice. 
I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way, near escapes, cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. Okay. Bye. Hello. Yep. Let me guess. Danny, huh? I was not taking that lane down, my G. Yeah, I don't think I need the front door. The farm was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. That it though. <gasps> oh. Some meats. Oh, flesh bangs. You know how I feel about flesh bangs. So obviously got to drive this car. Anything speckle up here? Page? Of course. Let me double check around here. I don't know. No, nothing down there. Get the page though. What we got? Hartman considers Mott and Wayne. For a moment, Hartman considered strangling the idiot. Mott was mean-spirited, but easily manipulated. An emotional infant who lived for his approval. Wake, by contrast, was a far more difficult subject. Maude had given him too much leash. In two days, who knew what could happen? Hartman would have to find a way to rein him in, and quickly. Hmm. So he sort of went off the rail. Is that what we're saying? Woo! More driving mechanics. If Barry wasn't Love there, he was me. probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. I hate driving in this game, you know. I really can't stress it enough that it's not needed. Just turn into a cutscene. Oh, let's check this out then. Oh, really? It's gonna say I don't want that now. Hello. Flash bags. Anything else? Bat res. What's up here, Alan? No fed. Oh my god. What are you doing? I'd rather have the Jeep. Stop here then. Is that a rifle? Huh. I'd rather have a rifle than a shotgun if I'm honest with you. Yeah. Because rifle is pretty much one hit KO. Hello. Come on, Tunnel. 
Well, as I'm sure everyone's noticed, that storm we all felt coming is finally here. The boys at the Weather Service reckon it'll last until morning, at the very least. Uh, pertaining to that, let me uh, read that missing persons alert again. The Sheriff's Department's still looking for a Caucasian woman, 30 years old, slim and blonde with blue eyes. She may be lost in the woods, and it's possible she's been injured in a car accident. If you see her, please make sure you get her indoors and call the sheriff. It's bad weather to be caught out in, so if you see someone in the area who maybe looks a little confused, give him a hand, all right? <clears throat> this is Pat Maine on KBF right, sit down. FM. Hoping you're all safe and warm tonight. Don't get music. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. There you go. You found out it was his wife. Ah, oh, mate, mate, do you know what? Just, there you go. Yeah. You cannot go up against me. I now have a rifle and flashbang. I am unstoppable. To a certain extent. So that drifting. Where is this fucking initial D? Gas, gas, get up, 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 gas. Stand here then. Look at this. Man be drifting, bruh. Oh, I've been there. I was say, didn't I see like a thing right there? There it is. By the way, that camera movement, camera movement was not meh. Uh, pick up, and then we can drive. Let's go. Gas, gas, step, step, step on the gas. No, my car's not stuck. No. Fist bang. Damn you, car! Oh, there's another one up here. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Come on, fat wake. My flashbangs are going. Go on, fat wake. Get in the car, let's go. Step on the gas. All that for a coffee thermos. Look at this drifting, man. What the? I'll awake. I'm like, hello, bruv. Yeah, you can't get me. I'm looking for stuff just in case. Man, look at that drifting. You see how blood drifting. Come on in. I see you. Dick it, bro. To the farm. Time to save us a buddy. Yeah, driving is the most horrible thing in this game. It's the worst. Driving and he's sprinting is the worst thing. Come on. I'm running out of bullets. 
I'll set flare gun, it's fine. Mm. I'm supposed to go that way. What's that in? Manuscript page? Nothing. Nothing at all. Ugh. Look at this farm. Too big. Too big. A little windmill. Windmill, windmill, full of love, love forever. Hey, enough. Oh. Oh, Bill. Who's leaving all this stuff everywhere? I wonder if we find out. I'll make more graves. What? The... Oh my god! What is this? Are they possessing dead bodies now? I'm speechless. Hello? Hello? How's keeping? Housekeeping! Oh, flashbangs! Yeah! Can get me now, boys! Ha 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 ha! for the win. I would like some rifle ammo though, I'm not gonna lie. This seems like a very, very big area, which I can imagine you would waste a lot of fireworks. A lot of time searching. I would, anyway. Why is it fireworks? The brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Oh, cutscene. Choppy cutscene. Oh my god. God damn. I'm so glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Bronson. Shut up and shoot. Oh god. Ow! We have to fight him off! I can Hell yeah! Fireworks from here and help you out! Look at this. Whoa. Ow. Stop chucking shit at me. Fucking stop. Flashbangs. Oh, really? Right. Flashbangs. Clatter damage. Carnage. Oh my god. Flashbang! Come on! Do you know what it is? It's all the dickheads throwing stuff at me. Oh god. Do it for battery, please, please, please. 
Hell yeah. Stop front, share me. Go reload. Oh, furnace, let's pick up. Thanks. Come on, come, come one, come all. Dinner, -da, da I just love my big ass light. We. Boom, baby. <laughs> that was awesome! Bright Falls, rock and roll capital of America. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, God, I love you, baby. God, I love you. Where'd she? Where'd she go? That was cool and interesting. I'm, I'm right next to you. I don't want to miss pages. Ah, I don't know. It's a trench. Why do they have trenches, man? Oh, look, well. The ring girl down there. Is it the ring or the grudge? One of them. Oh my god, stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. That looks like a page. I nearly missed it. Oh. Jesus Christ, Alan. I nearly missed the page. Deputy Mulligan tuned Thornton's chatter out. He didn't think writers were particularly useful people. And a huge manhunt for one stuck him as idiotic. Certainly not worth the missed opportunity for coffee and pie. It wasn't even clear what the man had done, except run from them at the trailer park. Mulligan knew he wasn't alone. The sheriff's patience with the Fed was running out. I can imagine. I can imagine it running out. I nearly missed that pitch. Lucky I went back. Why does he run so crappily? See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, yeah. right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. Mate, who says? You got you got to be looking after them cutouts. Things. Oh, Pudge. Thank you. Oh, got it. Nightingale finds the As manuscript. As the deputies hauled Wake and Wheeler away, Agent Nightingale eagerly examined the stack of papers Wake had been carrying. It was incomplete, a collection of random pages, but there was enough. He saw his own name in there, among others. His hands shook with emotion. Finally, it was proof. He had been right all along. What? That some dude's right now. A play, a book. How's that evidence? I don't know. Oh, the ladder. Oh my god, dude. She's like, parkour. 
I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? Ooh, I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything. And if I don't get my way, I'll sulk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. It makes me very attractive and mysterious. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend, Barry, to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? Hmm. No? Thought so. Aha! Hello? Them doors did not look... Wow! <laughs> safe. Look at that thing, Al! They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Oh shit, it's a long ship. Look at all this stuff! They must have done okay for themselves, so how come I never heard of these guys before? And this from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV? Oh, don't. TV? Night Springs. We all spend a few of our dreams in the soft and wet. Man, this makes that memory. Hey, remember when I got you that gig? Your first real writing job. What got you started? Oh, wow. One of your episodes? So, Alan wrote Nine Night Springs. The Dream of Dreams. Eh, that's by someone else. We join Mr. Jones as he explores the endless dreamscape, only to be brought to a sudden stop by a decidedly mundane situation. A long line of people. Hey, Jones, right? Listen, we're gonna have to wait until his highness over there is good and ready. Oh, wow, who's that? You don't know him? What are you, new? He's the guy dreaming us. Well, not just us. He dreams everything. All of what? us. But wait, no. I'm the one who's dreaming. I'm asleep. Is it... Isn't this my dream? Oh, yeah. Sure. Get real, pal. You're just another dream. I'm a dream. You're a dream. The weirdo in the diving suit is a dream. And the girl made of smiles and sunshine is definitely a dream. But I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming this. Well, maybe you're a really confused dream. What am I? A shrink? All I know is I'm going with the smart guys, and they say that's the guy doing the dreaming. Right there. I don't know what that means. It means we keep huh. him happy. No sudden falls. We make sure he has his clothes on when he goes out in public. No chases where the monster is nipping at his heels and he runs like crazy, but his legs don't seem to get him anywhere. None of that. Because if he wakes up in a cold sweat... Oh... Yeah. Precisely. So we wait till he wants to move on. Keep things nice and calm. Hey, something, something's happening here. Yeah? What's that? What? Can't you hear that? Oh, God help us. It's an alarm clock. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Please, man, I got a wife and kids. Please don't wait. Well? Ooh. That's a weird one, isn't it? I was just to roll around my house. I was like, what? Oh, lovely, lovely. Thank you, thank you. Oh, it's a power line. Broken power line. Night Springs. We veer towards the light that is Night Springs. Manuscript page. Bringing quite a bit of these now. The Anson brothers in the 70s. It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. Oh, do you think they caused the, the Viking boat volcano? Almost like a battering ram. 
from because they said there was a volcano eruption, wasn't there? In the seventies. Shouldn't they cause that? Nineteen seventy five Ragnarok Tour Be awed by Celestial Wrath and Fury Cool, cool, cool. We've arrived. What? Excuse me. Excuse me. Where do you ever gotta go? What are we playing at? Barry. Where'd Barry go? Ah, oh, it's the speedy man. I hate the speedy guys. They're the most annoying things. I really do hate them. I killed himself. What a knob. Okay, it's locked. So we ain't gonna touch that, are we? Or that. Where are you, Barry? Oh. Ah! Oh! Come on. There we go. How did you get there, Barry? You amaze me, Barry. You really do. Moonshine. Wow, those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm going to start representing them. Yep, sell this <laughs> stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm going to take a closer look at this stuff. Oh, Jesus, Al. Oh, Barry, I mean. Be careful, Al! So good. Oh, shit, man. Where even are we, anyway? We still on the farm. Are we still on the farm? I do hear a radio.
lithium. Heavy duty lantern. Wait, I already got one, I know. Yeah. Is it my main man, Pat? Hey! Know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm KBFM. not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Dear Fest. is almost here, isn't it? I, I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't gonna say anything. I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fight. Sounds a bit squirrely, didn't he? How did you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble. We're about a mile, Pat. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know... Uh, <laughs> pretty much now, is it just me or does Deerfest get wilder every year? People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier and younger. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. Uh, oh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Not just me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's wilder, Pat, but actually most of the trouble seems to be coming from grown men. People who ought to know better, you know? Kids are doing fine this year. Well, that's nice to hear, at least. Boys, I want to thank you for stopping by. I'll let you get back to your patrol. Sure thing, Pat. No, no music. Sure thing, Pat. No music. We don't want it. No music, no music. We don't want it, we don't want it, we don't want it. We don't want it, we don't want it. Please don't play the music. Bye, Barry. I could see the building that had to be the Andersons' home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned-out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. But we're just gonna leave, Barry. Oh my chainsaw! I want that chainsaw. With a chainsaw, I bleed your ass raw. Item limit reached. I want a chainsaw. Bahari. You've got to be kidding me. Come by now, Mister. Come back. There we go. And it killed me. What? Okay. There we go. Come on. There's 65 billion cows and pigs in the world. There just ain't enough cow and pigs in the world. That's what I'm talking about. Ah. Pleasant. Lovely and pleasant. We're going in. Okay. 
go. Bahuri. I'm saying, wasn't it? Okay. No. Okay. Uh, Why not just shoot that? Is that you out there, buddy? Yeah, it's me. Hang on. There you. Hey, let's go, man. Just double check I haven't left anything. To work together to open the skate aisle. I'm coming. It's pretty heavy. Oh. Ah. Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're all yeah. there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. <laughs> that includes you, Barry. Valhalla. Gig. Let's do this thing. Man, this place is good though. I'd live in a place like this. Only gods know the truth. Fuck. Height. No gods or kings. Only man. Thank you for watching that video. As I said, I'm recording a new intro because Shocktober has ended. Shocktober Encore has ended. But if you enjoyed this video, please click a link here to the other old Shocktober video, which is a playlist, which is going to be Evil Within. And click this one here to subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. And please comment. I love comments. So, thank you for watching. And enjoy. And away.